Hey everyone, it's another week mm. of Top Decks. Big week, but unfortunately we have to speed run this because Kelvin needs to study for exam. <sighs> All right, uh, we've got an RTA uh, time attack. So we're gonna go by nations again, mm -hmm. getting into that D, D vibe. Fast pace, let's go. Yes, fast pace. So first, story care clans, we've got uh, Great Nature. So mm. this is Great Nature, pretty cool. Uh, we've been talking about how good Great Nature is. Everyone likes Great Nature. Yep. Uh, this one doesn't run any gimmicks, right? No gorilla, just... no, uh, no one shot. Mm -hmm. It's just straight up. Normal, but normal. I think this is the correct move. Just you know, buff up the consistency with three axles and slam face. Does he have any crit? I don't see any crit. Front, right. front, front, front. He's running draws, so there's you, you can basically take it from four, but mm -hmm. like I don't know. I think running crits is slightly better. You don't need that much draw, you already get a lot of hand anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, so but otherwise, pretty, pretty decent deck, cheap deck as well. Mm -hmm. Check it out, clan selection one, two, sleeper deck. That's right. Next up, we have is another. Hamsky build again. Oh. This one is no gimmicks. Very clean. They're very clean. No gimmicks. Again, no no gorilla. No no of that one shot tech in. Uh, he's running six draws. Just big big crazy big mm -hmm. crazy. He's got four of this weirdo grade one to fix your ride. Normally, I don't think you need that many. I think this is too much. No, I think he just really likes consistency. He just wants to ride that grade and have the same game every single time. He doesn't have mini belly. I would rather have mini belly uh, to search your grade three. Because you already have hammed on to so, like also help fix. You don't mm. need that like six fixes. So I'm not a huge fan of that. I feel like there's much more that you can do with this maybe deck. Maybe it's deck thinning, man. <laughs> yeah, like, like the, the West loves their gorillas. Um, maybe the East not so much. The only gorilla they watch is uh, on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, next one we have is Neo Nectar. Oh. So Neo Nectar, this one I don't know how, what to say about this deck. There's he, he runs Ines, Ines, which I don't think is like that good. Um, also, he's got the Arboros, Arboros I guess because yeah, it, it, it turns into tokens. Mm. It turns into tokens. Secondary grade three ride. That's cool. I still prefer the Tomatoes myself. Yeah. Um, but the rest of this deck kind of just generating tokens, stepping over tokens. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure about. Oh no, that's not anterior. This just gets power. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's fine then. All good. Uh, the deck is. I think you can pretty much dump in a lot of random stuff into this deck, and it'll just work. Because it just. It's pretty much just the maiden. The maiden of stamp here, and you doing the work. As long as it gets power or turns your tokens into hand, that can go in. Yeah, I reckon. Like, there's probably a lot of ways to, to like kind of maximize the deck mm -hmm. a bit more, just mm -hmm. to like get you, those extra percents. Uh, but overall, it's just a very easy deck to play and a good good place for Neo Nectar to be. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, next is we're moving on to. The oh, Grand yeah. Blue Clans, you know, Alka Magic. Did you see that? Alka Magic. Alka Magic. Good stuff. Uh, we got Alka Ghosts with Night Rose. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, you, it, it's the best build, right? Do you think, I think it's the this best is build? the best build, yeah. Um, you, you, you're definitely you're definitely a, a Night Rose fan. Mm -hmm. I know some people on the, the Beatrice train. What do you think of those people? I don't know. If you write Beatrice and keep wording, I think you're a sack. Wow. <laughs> Big words um, from a. Uh, I won't, I won't continue that, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's 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 pretty good, right? Do you think there's too many Beatrice? Maybe I think this is like an actual hybrid build. This is a hybrid build. Actual yeah. hybrid. I know a lot of Nairos just dumping in one, mm -hmm. um, one of the, uh, the 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 Beatrices yep. just because you know it's good. I think the key of gr uh, good Grumble deck is decide which great one do you want to cut, um, and that the rest of the deck follows that pattern. So what did he cut? Uh, Cutlass. Oh yeah, no Cutlass A. Yeah. All right, yeah, that, that's a good that's a good theory. It's a good theory to take. So guys. Figure out your cuts. All right. Next one we have is another Grand Blue deck. See, yep. All right, Grand Blue. Very seems to be very very popular recently. And you know. See, it's always Nike Rose. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got um, your point there. All right. Uh, four navigators. This yep. one I see. No Cutlass. Yep. No Cutlass. Yep. Um, do you think you can cut Cutlass or is Cutlass still very important? No, I think you can cut a Cutlass because you counter blast less. Um, mm -hmm. Because well, you can use so your Soul Blast to call cards now. Yes, yes. Um, correct. And you have extra counter charge from the grade two, uh, Jesse. Ah, uh, yes, yes. So, okay. yep. That's pretty cool. Uh, moving on. Uh, next, we have another one. See? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Something different here. Mr. Um, Tomo! <laughs> He's playing Cacutis. Why? Why would you do this? Well, why? If, You're the expert here. If you think about it, Cacutis is like, if you write it late game, it's CB1 get a lot of value. Mm, um, and okay. er, in early game, it's also CB1 and mill. If you look at his engine, yeah, he doesn't run Navigator, so he doesn't have a mill engine. Oh. So, I don't know. I feel like running the the navigator is better. I think navigator is better <laughs> as well. Especially can um, get him with uh, your Columbard. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't see why you would run four ships, but maybe you know Kokira wow. Strat. Kokira Strat. Mm, <laughs> I don't know, guys. Not sure about this one. Do you think Grand Blue is tier one right now? No, definitely not. Whoa. 
big, that, that is incredible words. Uh, we're gonna Aquaforce deck. Huh. Uh, this is Maelstrom though. So it's still Maelstrom doing its stuff. Yeah, there is running any heals. That's right. That was what I was gonna say. <laughs> running six draw, ten fronts. Yep. Ten fronts. You know. I mean, sacking. Oh, he's got three of the book. Three book as well. So I guess like book with Maelstrom triggering mm -hmm. fronts mm -hmm. is pretty much GG, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. make it yeah. You could, you could probably one shot with this deck. You yes, know? yes. Maybe you could one shot. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you can one shot. If you trigger a heal, you lose. So uh, take out the heals. <laughs> yeah, well, well, screw it, right? Just just front them to death. Uh, next we have is uh, a great looking mat. I like to say good good stuff. Oh no, uh, but good. yeah, no, 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 pretty good. She's got great seeing. Um, but this we have a like mm. a Revan plus values build focusing on the values. I don't I don't know people like oh, values is pretty bad. I don't know like I, I think it's fine. I think it's, yeah. I think I think people when people get values they go wow it's. It's like a great finisher card. No, it's it's not just a great finish card. I think it's also a really good push card. Because yep. you just push early, you ride values early and push, and you force out a lot of cards from their hand. Uh, but even if they don't, they get a trigger, it doesn't matter. So you can really, really push the damage yep. there. Um, even if you ride like a Revan first into a Valius, you mm -hmm. basically count the amount of cards in your opponent's hand, mm -hmm. and then see how, if, they, if they've if got more cards in your attacks, then they live. If they don't, then, mm -hmm. then you win, if they're on five, of course. And you don't always have to sacrifice your Excel circles. Mm -hmm. Uh, you don't have to persona blast to to kill your excel so you just use the excel circles yeah. just use it for the multi attacks and um i guess the the, the blue wave engine is also very good just getting free cards so yep. yeah I, I like that too so i think aqua force is in a pretty good position yeah i think you just gotta use uh, the most value out of your cards and not overextend mm, or yeah. you don't always have to use all your effects yeah that okay uh next in well moving away from soy care uh, technically because these guys well, these these girls they're getting I guess. out of the water. Yeah, they're getting out of the water. <laughs> we don't even okay. Let's be honest. We don't even know if they're going to be Bermudas, like mermaids. Still, I mean, right? Mm -hmm. Things change. Three thousand years. They could have evolved into uh, like Fl real people. <laughs> <laughs> real people. Flying mermaids. Flying mermaids. They could have been become monks, man. We don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's a monastery. So. Monastery. <laughs> All right. Uh, Highlander build. Mm -hmm. Pretty just self-explanatory. Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Oh, the, 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 there's only some greed here. Is that? Yeah, there's only one one greed engine there. That's it. Very no, oh, two greed. Two greed. Yeah, this yep. is Nesca. Wow. I think she just he just put it in because he's got two different arts. Yep. Yeah, all right. Uh, nice Highlander stuff. Next one we have is Prism. Now I don't understand hmm. why, but Japan really likes Nectaria yep. a lot. Like four copy, three copies in yeah. all the time. And then in the West, we're like, you could probably just put one, you're fine. Or you could just not run it. Yeah. Right. That's 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 the consensus. I, I'm. I really want to know what you guys think about this. What? Why the, the difference in opinion? Mm -hmm. I personally look at Nectar and go, okay, it's probably a one off if you want to put it in, just like it's that extra consistency. Yeah, yeah. Just just that extra card for consistency. It's just it's a one off. It's a one off. Yep. You have one flex slot. That's where it goes. You could probably put in two if you really wanted yep. to cut something. I think the value goes on the more copies you put in. Yeah. So I think around two, three is like max. Two, I think, is the right amount. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that you might ride it in like a uh, bad like Link Joker <laughs> matchup or something, so you get triple drive or something. That, that's about it, right? Sure, yes. And you don't have to solve it. But apart from that, I just don't. I don't see the. Mm -hmm. I don't see the gimmick, right? She's 14k though, so. But again, I don't see the gimmick, right? Uh, next one we have is another prism again. Four. Four Tyra. What did it take out for it? I don't know. Um, he's all Rodokas, right? So I guess. Uh. You don't lose too much. You still have all the good, all the good engine stuff. Oh no! no it's not Ellie's. It's crap. Well, it's a crap deck. Yeah, no, all right, take it out. Sorry, you guys. In the bin. In the bin. Ellie's just so ridiculous. <laughs> just, I don't know. And then lastly, we've got another prism deck. Um, did you run Ellie's? No Ellie's. There's two Liz lots. Yeah. And, yeah two, I don't two know. Two Liz lots. There are three Liz lots. But yeah, oh. dude, dude, come on. Uh, Nectarian. There's better cards out there to run. You ran Redoka over Ellie. Come on, dude. And um, what's that great one in the bottom left? Um, I don't know. Uh, L Lavor? L Lavor? Anyways. Yeah, I, I can't I can't read that. I'm not. Not Ellie. Not Ellie. It's not Ellie. Bye. Um so yeah, see you see you next see you next year, I guess. Uh moving on, we have uh Dark States. Oh, Alright, yeah. we've got team uh Gucci Who's Gucci? Huh? See you Gucci. It's a weird name. Mm. But uh, it, it's TT Zone though, so it's Singapore, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Gear Chronicle, pretty good. Um, pretty standard Gear Chronicle. This is what I like to see. Yeah, yeah. And this is, is pretty much, I think, near near perfect build. Mm -hmm. uh, we got you, you. You see the the mixture of Steam Breath and which Lost Gear Dog Gate, which is yeah, it's fine. Are you with Zaids instead of Nabu, yep. which is fine. Um, and two Time Reaper. Time Reaper is actually like not bad. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think it's and just pretty much a figured out mm -hmm. Gear Chronicle. And build. like running like five copies of a Great Four, I think um, Four is a bit too little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, you, you think it's too little? Uh, four is too little, five is fine. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, next we have is a Pale Moon deck. Huh. So, what you, uh, one thing I've noticed with like some Pale Moon lists now is they've added the Chimera in just for the counter charging. Yep. Um, they've got a bit some greedy with like, you know, the, the purple trapezes and stuff. It's not just a full Nightmare Dolls. Yeah, hey, this guy runs two heals. Oh, well then. <laughs> that's how, it, well. <laughs> well, we mentioned it before, like, this deck is very aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, your hand's small anyway, so I think you aim to kill more than, like, sustaining. Yeah, okay. I think that's a good that's a good, good sum-up of the entire deck. At least he's committed. <laughs> yeah, he's committed to doing it. Uh, we've seen a lot of commitment this week, you know, a lot of no mm -hmm. heals. Yep. Uh, which is good. If you trigger here, you'll lose, so... Again, another... This guy huh. didn't go too committed. Okay. We still see the two Chimeras. This um, five draws. Mm, okay. Yeah, five draws. I don't know. I don't know. Do we need? I think. Do you, oh, I, this deck doesn't really get that much hand advantage, right? Mm, that's true. So right. I guess you need probably the more draws. You did get a lot of Excel twos. So mm. You can get a lot of Excel twos. So okay, all right. Uh, not bad. Pelman showing up. Next we have Spike okay. Brothers. All right. Finally. Spike Brothers. I, I think I think the Spike Brothers support is just pretty good. Yeah. Right. You have your old stuff. Get rid of some of the the chaff mm -hmm. and put in the new stuff, and you're pretty much good to go. Um and one of the decent force decks. Mm -hmm. just, just, I, I don't think we see it a lot just because it's Japan, but yeah. moving to the West, I think we're going to see more Maybe spikes. More popular, yep. Yeah, and it's cheap. It's Again, it's a very cheap deck. I think it's one of those sub-$50 decks that mm -hmm. people have been mm -hmm. talking about. And I think you can easily convert it to a premium deck as well, so... Oh, no, 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 no. The premium deck, I think, is a bit different. <laughs> it's a bit different. But I guess if you're talking about, like, a standard plus, then yeah, I think it's fine, mm -hmm. right? You know, just play an aggressive one. If we don't make GBA spikes, well... Out of luck, boys. Uh, but... Yeah, no, I think this is pretty cool. I like to see some spike representation in Japan, especially. Uh, next, we've got DI. Yeah, yes. I like, I like uh, DI. You know, D DI, it's good to see DI coming back, even though not much has changed. Yeah, you know? actually, like the new additions, they. they it's a bit of a hit and miss, right? Yeah, like, yeah. People yeah. like it, people don't like it. People even, like, some people, like, this guy even put back his succubuses, mm. right? Um, but he still runs, like, the, the new grade ones. What did he cut out then? The... I think his grade 2 is very minimum. Oh, true, yeah. His grade 3 is also kind of minimum too. You know, normally you run, yeah. like, more no than dump. 9. No dump. No no dump. Instead, he put Gastel. Well, but then know. you have, like, you have variant uh, drag form yep. as well. You usually yep, you run that to, to tutor out your grade 3s. He's know. not running that. So. It's like taking out um, dump for Gastel is the wrong move. Because Gastel, you have to ride it, whereas dump works on rear guard, so you can technically... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm always a dump fan. I love... I, I like Dump way more than Castile, just mm. to be honest. I mean, but Castile's cooler. Debatable, debatable. I guess his name is cooler. You know, Rupon. Well, I think it isn't the English name like Rupon Damp. Damp, probably. Which yeah. just makes no sense. It, it's better just to sound. It's, it's better to be dumb, right? Even though it sounds weird. Sure. Um, but you know, you've always got to have a poo jerk mm -hmm. because that's how the world works. Uh, next we have is. Um, Cargo. So, okay, this is actually pretty simple. Oh. We see a lot more cargo showing up, which is something I like to see. And it's Dauntless. It's Dauntless. We're in the age where, well, we're in the era, not the era, uh, the location, the locale, where we have turnabouts. Uh, but these guys decided to go old school and just play <laughs> Blade Master with, uh, with Dauntless, which is, which is cool. It means you can run this in English, yep. quite likely. And um, he also doesn't have any, I don't think he has any Burning Horn Dragons. <laughs> now, that, that's like kind of the tech that people go, if you combo Burning Horn with your Dauntless, you mm. can discard three and kill three cards. But you know, Blade Master just kills the whole field, so who yes, cares, so, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it just gives that extra oomph to your Blade Master. Mm. Also has, you know, you still have the books. The books. Got to study, boys, to get good grades. That's the Asian way. Have you study? Go, go put a book in your deck. All right, that's good. All right, so next one. Another one. We have another oh, Dauntless. Oh, oh. This time going Hold with the on. great though. That's right. a card I haven't seen for a long, long time. I can I barely know. remember the effect. It was like $70. It was so <laughs> rare in English. Um, I actually played the deck, so it was really fun. So the weakness of, you know, the great is that you have to run Neoflame, mm -hmm. which is kind of like a kind of a low value card in such yep. a way. But at the same time, it's cool because when you ride the great, you get a free card. Yep. Um, and Neoflame, it's not really restricted to once per turn, right? Yeah, so the you, can, you can just counterblast uh, your whole field. No, oh. no, 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 no. The, the restand, the restand is limited to once per turn. The counterblast uh. two to get crit is not limited to once per turn. So you could like crit, crit, and then you're out of CB, but then you go like trigger a crit, and then you have got the crit back. So, mm. Good stuff. Uh, he runs Burning Horn as well. This is the, that is the play. Remember, yep. like, oh, if you're not playing Blade Master, yeah, just got cards. Your tiger stuff. 
Otherwise, there's not really many other ways for you to retire stuff. Yeah. Well, I, there, there is, there is, but this is the more efficient way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can retire stuff. Well, it's turning your discard. cost into something that's, you that's, know. Actually, so if you, want, if, you, if you discard and retire this stuff, uh, during the battle phase, you can pop the ammos as well to counter charge oh. and get the crits. Wow. Wow, these are some sick, sick plays, man. Sick plays, dude. All right, so yeah, that's pretty cool. You got like eight draws as expected of a uh, of a Dauntless. But yeah. Actually, how many draws is the Blade I think the other one's only eight. Oh. Yeah. No, I think it's, I think six. it's six. Six. Oh, six. Yeah, it's six, two, six, two, six. Blade Master. Oh, he's running books, so I guess you get more draw, right? Yeah. So, uh, that's that. I can get away slightly more. Next one, we have another The Great build. Huh. So I, I, I'm feeling we're seeing a trend here mm. where uh, the great is pretty popular with Dauntless. We haven't seen any turnabouts yet, but you know, great. Yep. Pretty good. So um, dig up your old greats. Prepare. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't... We don't see any burning horns though, so that's kind of... Well, you can still mix that match. It's still early days. I, I, think, I think burning horn is actually pretty good, just mm -hmm. simply because of the play I said before, yep. with, with the ammos, comboing with ammos and stuff, yep. and getting your cards back, so I like that. Uh, but, you know, he's also not running... A, he's not a full Dauntless kind of mm -hmm. mindset. Still running a crit. So, I don't know. Do you have enough hand to do it? Let me let me know. Yeah. <laughs> all down. And then next we have another one. It is Dolus the Great again. Wow, oh, wait, that's three. It's three. It's there three Dolus Greats. On. There must be something going on. Is this a trend? Is this a new trend? Mm. It's a cargo cargo. He's also, also running the great one that um, draws one when something gets retired. Mm. So mm. yeah, I guess uh, lots of lots of cycling. That's pretty good actually. I actually thinking about that. You know. I also got on the, the the restander booster as yeah, well. So yeah. I don't know. There's some there's some interesting tech. Yep. There's some interesting yep. tech here, uh, and I can't say I don't I don't hate it. It looks mm. pretty good. So a lot of potential directions this deck can go to. Yeah. So, so it's yeah still very still very unexplored. Mm. Yeah. So you guys experimental. Yeah. I think there's a lot of potential here. Uh, it gives us pretty good. It means that the format's not still figured out. We have an idea of what could be good decks. Japan has been really pushing. Dauntless a lot. In the West, we've kind of thrown it in the bin. We're like, it's trash, dude. <laughs> so, uh, it's there's a lot of potential still in the format, and until Springfest comes, maybe it'll come soon. I don't know. I don't know when it's coming. Uh, maybe we have a lot of time, though, I think, right? So yeah, we do. Just do, do your tests. You'll find out. Just proxy it out. Proxy it. I don't know. Buy the cards. Buy the cards. Buy the cards. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up your old cards. Pick up your old cards. Oh, that's right. I have a lot of time. Uh, next, we have another card deck. This is just a traditional oh. Overlord deck, except Wait. not. To Elixir. To Elixir. Then I think it's... we've seen this last week, yeah, right, dude? Yeah, yeah. Like, I think we've seen a non deck log version. Mm -hmm. 16 crit with potions. Yep. Uh, can't say I agree, God but it wins. Yeah. It wins. It one shot. It Yeah, 16 crit. Uh, of course. Yeah, it only runs two of the Decats, so it's not a super. Like, you run four if it's a, if you're relying you on the you one. You draw it, right? You just need to draw one copy. Yeah, but if you don't draw that one on your one shot, it, it feels bad, dude. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think you'd want to run more. And then lastly, from Dragon Empire, we have Nubitama. 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 Yeah, so, yeah, this is, I think this is good old, just very standard. Yeah, I think this deck's kind of figured out when you're running yeah. Shiranui. Um, it's just, yeah, it's figured out. Yeah, your, your slot is very, like, I guess very the weird card he's running is, like, Zangetsu. Um, yeah. So, okay. you don't really, like, you don't really think of tokens much, but I guess mm. because everything, oh, they can't attack, though, they can't boost. I don't know, I'm not... I think the grade two slot can be something else. Hmm. I like I like the uh, I like the card that calls a card from the, I think it's like Gyo Ma something. Uh, the one that forces your opponent to call cards from the hand because I think that's pretty cool. You know, calling then comboing your music cards. You're like, Ooh. I mean, maybe you just call the token so like you can lock them. Mm. <laughs> sounds like a free up slot. Sounds like a three sixty brain, dude. You're like, <laughs> if I call my Zangetsu, I can call tokens, and you can't lock them. You just lock the Zangetsu. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's that's it from Dragon Empire. Um, moving on, we have our mm. Keta Sanctuary. All right, this is all the big clans, big clans. Yeah. Uh, so last week there were no Duards. There were a lot of Gavriels. Mm. This week, the week before, there were a lot of Duards, but no Gavriels. Yeah. What are we seeing this week? Do you think there's going to be a lot of Duards? Uh, well, you didn't put a Duard, so I'll say more Duards. More Duards. All right. No Gavriel. Okay. So yeah. All right. Let's talk that's... about Duards. Um, not much to say. <laughs> You've seen this for like what half a year? You know, I'm still looking for apocalypse bats, man. Oh wait, we don't ha we don't have any. No, eh? We're still playing the other build. Oh. Yeah, we don't have apocalypse bats, dude. Rip. Feels feels bad, dude. <laughs> yeah, we have to play bad, the lame dude. builds. All right, we have to play the lame Multi -attack builds. Multi attack build. 
Um, yeah, no, this is a pretty standardized list by now, I think, Lord uh, showing up. Uh, next we have is a Genesis. Yep. So, again, um, Regalia. I think we're seeing, like, kind of... More Regalias. More, yeah, more Regalia. I don't know if... I don't think people have moved away from Astral Point, but I feel like, yeah, there's definitely more Regalia mm -hmm. just because, I guess, Angelica. Yeah. You know, you, lots of fans. Are you an Angelica fan? Uh, never really that deep into it, but... Just sure, good. sure, why not, is, is, is what he said. <laughs> Effect-wise, it's it's fine. Uh, Effect-wise, dude, I'm not looking at the effect. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, another another Regalia, Regalia deck? Yep. Yeah, so... Yeah, what's... Fairly standard list. Yeah, pretty standard by now. I think we're going to be... Well, when Overdress comes out, I think mm. the decks will all be kind of different, but sure. Um, next we have is Gabriel. Oh, so wait, this... yep, both. Wait, one Luard. One Luard and one, one Gabriel. Luard, one, one. So in order for Gabriel to win, we just need another Gabriel. And uh, this is standard... from Singapore Gang. Yes, Singapore Gang, Calculator Gang. Uh -huh. um, is that, is that, I don't, I don't know if this, does this guy ever change his picture? I don't know, he just, he wins. He's got, I've got to, don't worry. I've got a safe picture. You've got to stay loyal. <laughs> <laughs> got a safe picture. No, 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 I, I, always I, puts his like deck box in the same location as well. I feel, yeah, I reckon it's the same picture, dude. I think it's the same picture. <laughs> just, uh, I won uh, which sure, sure, oh, can, I just uploaded the deck yeah, from last can, week. Can you spread the deck? No, just, yeah, upload the deck from. Um, one shot Gabriel build with Zane. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is sort of the deck from last week, dude. So maybe, did he only run two no seal? No, I think it was only, it was only two. Uh, uh, okay, I see. I see. Next, he might have taken the draw out. I can't remember if he draws. He draw. might have run one draw, right? Yeah. Oh no, maybe not. Those lists are kind of also similar, yes. but at the same time, they could be so different. Oh, well. approved. <laughs> Move on. Uh, next, we have. Ah. I think it's a new one because Saram updated his picture. <laughs> That's okay. Saram, right? That's me. Uh, yeah, it looks like him. Was, did he grow up? I don't know. Does he grow taller? He's got, maybe it's, it's called the hair. hair gel. Hair gel. Okay. Hair gel. All right. Yeah, uh, but yeah, no, this is Gurgit? Mm. Gurgit? This, Pure. this reminds me of the old list, but no Percival. I mean... I don't know, I don't agree. I think Gurgit's too slow right now, man. Depends, like, what you're versing, right? Um, well, what, what are you... There's a lot of things that you could be versing nowadays. Well, what's a bad matchup? Anything that's good? Like, like <laughs> Sanctuary, Sanctuary's pretty good? I think Bermuda's pretty Bermuda, good. Yeah. Like... I think before this deck was dominating, now it's a bit too slow. Yeah, but you can now bring it to casuals and not feel bad. Oh, uh, so uh, you can. It's like Luar. It's That's like right. Luar. Okay, right. this is like, it's been <laughs> normalized. It's, been no it's, a, it's a normal thing to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just your casual, you know, yeah. good deck. All right, yeah. Well, if you want to, if you have a Gurgit and you're sorry, you're sad about your personal spin, just, just run this one. <laughs> run this one. Uh, next we have... Oh, whoa, this is not Gabriel. It's not Gabriel. It's... AF, but it's not Gabriel, so it's still 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it's, it's still 1-1. Still, still one, one. Still one, one. Malkuth, Malcolm decent Mal deck. Um, People were hyping this deck quite a bit when Clan Selection 1 came out. They were like going, this this card, this was one of the best decks from that yep. set. And I don't know. I don't know. I, it feels clunky. It feels clunky. It's, that's true. I'm like, if you miss your combo, you're just like, you're just playing a really bad but deck. But there's so many ways to set it up now. Your new cards help you set up the combo, man. Let's go. You have, like... you have X heals, dude. How good is that? But you have auto loose cons and that. I guess other decks have similar. Do things. you really have auto loose cons, dude? All right, test it out. Uh, uh, let's, let's... <laughs> you, you play it next tournament. Sure, sure. <laughs> I can't go to any tournaments because oh. I've got work. I have work. I can't go to tournaments. Sad. <laughs> uh, next, we have another Malkuth Melek. Ooh. Okay. So instead of Gabriel, this is Max Tune, right? This is Max Tune. The, um, no, the old Great Tree is not. Uh, Just the new cards. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. I don't know what to say. It's not Max Tune. <laughs> uh, well, no. Well, it's the second one. So mm -hmm. it looks like Malkuth Melek now is, is taking the lead uh, this week. It's just one more. It's not like. One more. Crazy. It's, it's a dominating Unless one more. you've got like, I don't know, three more Malkus <laughs> sitting in the back line. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's, this is, this is, could be redemption, right? Mm. Like, I haven't seen it for a while. Now people are picking this up over the Gavriels, right? Yeah. Pretty Maybe. cool. Uh, next one we add is Gold Paladin. Gold Paladin, huh? So, Gold Paladin showing its stuff. It is spectral now. Not, what? uh, not Gurgit. Two Percival? I thought he's a Percival dot deck. What is, what is that thing, dude? Is this Battle Spirits thing? You're like a kid? 
the heck? <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh. hey, you can put your center markers as everything. Anything. Center marker for Vanguard is the most yeah. useless thing of all time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, this is uh, just... Mm. What is that one? Actually, I don't think I've seen that card, actually. Well, let's find it out and put it in the comments. Yeah, we'll, we'll look it up later. Let's get Bessock as well. No, I think no, Bessock is kind of used because you can Bessock your Vanguard mm -hmm. for the restand, but the rest of it is pretty straightforward. It's just this one. I think people are on the train of like, do we run fronts or crits? And mm -hmm. if I meme, I like crits, but I think it's correct to run fronts. Yeah, but he's only running two Percivals. Um, if, I think if you want to run fronts, you have to run four Percivals. Otherwise, you're not making true. the most value. The thing is, your like field hits so badly. Yeah. I mean, I guess like if you run fronts, you kind of you have to attack with your regards first. Mm. So you want to run crits. Well, you're gonna attack them anyway, so. Mm. I guess. I guess. All right. Yeah. So crit front, crit front. Yeah. Pick your favorite. Uh, next, we have another another one. This mm -hmm. one is is crit train as well. He's not running the weirdo card. That is really a weird card. Yeah, that, that is uh, a weird card. Have to find it out. Um, Do you see it here? I don't no, see it here. No, yeah. no, this one's just running like. Pretty much max copy of the, there's no, the good, good stuff. There's no full cavalier though. There's no full cavalier in this. There's four Percival, but no yep. full cavalier, which is kind of... And crits as well. We still uh, have the we still have the Bessoc, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I think the full cavalier is very strong in, yep. in just getting free cards. For like, what do you use soul for? I think. Not really. Yeah. Not really. So you just soul, need soul cards. like a free yeah. resource. So I'm a huge fan of full cavalier, not a huge fan of mm -hmm. uh, not running. <laughs> Uh, so moving on, this is the VG top deck hashtag. Oh yeah. Uh, we've got Brunei team coming in again. I haven't seen them for a while, or maybe just for two weeks. But good stuff. They're starting off with a pale moon list, and um, I see something similar with the previous list. What? Two heals. Two heals. Wow, but he's not running uh, chimeras, dude. No chimeras. Chimeras like depends on your meta. I think chimeras pretty important counter charge because mm. you do use quite a bit of counter blast right? you also you can use it to recycle some stuff back into the soul yeah, so, yeah overall so. it's a pretty good engine but you're already running 10 grade threes so mm, for more, for more? <laughs> <laughs> not everyone's on the you know crazy amount of grade three yet i mean they have tosca they're all running yeah. tosca unfortunately we don't get that in english so yep. i don't know how much that will affect the overall build yeah um but yeah uh second place we have is dimension police oh, is this the one shot deck. Yes, yes, the yes, Wombo yes. Combo Miracle Beauty deck. Uh, as we see, there's no zeal. Mm. There's screw zeal. Zeal, get out of here. Enemy. <laughs> Enemy number one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this is just the. Uh, I wouldn't say tried and tested. It is 12 draw. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just, yeah, you, you Wombo Combo with Miracle Beauty and try to kill them as soon as possible yep. and destroy them. Destroy them! Right? Everything hits numbers, everything helps makes numbers work. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, next we have is a Link Joker build. Mm -hmm. ah, my buddy, uh, Link Joker build. He doesn't run any bangles, which is the, the new oh, yeah. the new tech or the kind of the interesting tech that's important. He runs more removal, which is kind of weird, right? He runs the the monk. Yeah. Um, he also runs this the yeah. promo that got reprinted. Um, which also is kind of removal. So there's yeah. more removal here. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's correct or not. I feel like a lot of people rely on the lock and getting power. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about removing because generally your opponent's field will kind of be empty. Yeah, it's either empty or locked. Yeah, and I know like some builds run your extra slots as getting power mm -hmm. when your opponent doesn't have a field. Yep. Just to have that out when your opponent decides to commit nothing or you're against something like a yep. Kumo or a Grand Blue. Get so a bit I, of more push. You yeah, I kind of... For having an empty field. I kind of like that idea. Yep. Um, the, the ultimate control I'm not a huge fan of, mm. but yeah, it worked It worked for... It worked for I think in Roxas. standard, you gotta like pressure. <laughs> Can't just like play. Oh, well, he sent us a message. You want CBD? You got one. And he, he is the only one. He is the one. The one. So far. So right? far. Of, of CBDs. So, yeah. Good job, man. You are the one. You are the one. Uh, and then we've got Lizard with huh. a Kaguru. And this is. This. There's no Dauntless. Is this? Um, what is this? Blade Master. Blade just Master. pure. Just pure Blade Master? Maybe you didn't get his Dauntless, man. Maybe you didn't get Dauntless. Yeah, but still, the... just pure Blade Master and you, you won? Yeah. Oh, no, he's fourth. He's oh, fourth. fourth. I don't know, dude. Dude, first oh. was Pal Moon, man. Mm. Um, yeah, maybe. I, I think Dauntless would be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when you get Dauntless, maybe you'll win. Oh no, he, he has the PRs though. He has the PRs. 
So did they come separately in Japan? No. Is it before? No, or is they, 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 they all come together, yeah. So he's got. Not the... Pierre, you mean just grade one and two. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. The, the new grade ones and twos. Mm. He doesn't want any books as well. He went like a lot of draws, like six draws, six I guess. Three. Well, that's yeah. not actually much, but he doesn't run the book. The book is everyone's favorite. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you if you watch it, let us know why you didn't run that, actually. I, I, I want us to hear your reasons. Uh, next we have is the premium oh. from Texas. Okay. All right, Texas premium. Mm. This is pretty much there. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna uh, say. He's got some, in, oh, no, 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 he's got some, some old text. Yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. some old text. We've got the Mighty Bolt, old Mighty Bolt Strife yep. I think. Nulls, great one. The Null is always good. The Null is always good. I, I really like the old Nulls. And there, you, you know, this guy loves Marukami so much. You look at like, with the markers. Look at the great oh, one, like uh, SPs, yeah. like. It's so bling, look <laughs> yeah, at the G zone, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well done. And well no, this done. is actually a pretty decent life. It's, it's really, it's yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, super, yeah, it's super blink. Yeah, like all, like it's hard to get some of these because they're from the revival collection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like hard to find people who sells copies as well. So, <laughs> so he's only about two churros though. Still, oh, you can run four churros now, man. You don't more. need to. You don't need to. I think you're running to probably space issues as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, this is pretty cool. Like this, this premium deck. It's pretty much standard. If you're a newbie and you like Narukami, mm -hmm. this is literally the, the <laughs> easiest deck to get into because yes. you just run. And um, the threats are relatively easy to get as well. I think maybe the G zone is the hardest part to get. Yeah, yeah, but you don't, need to, get a, G -guard, you don't, you don't need to get a G zone like him. Yeah, just it's, <laughs> you can it's just super playing. standard. Yeah, just, just, just use your pleb, pleb versions, and I think you'll be fine. Um, uh, next, uh, there was a second place actually. Oh. There was a Highlander that came second. Mm. Normally, we see Highlander like you play. Coach is you yeah, I thought, that, I thought that was the deck in premium. I uh, feel like this deck you just bash down your opponent. <laughs> no, I think this guy doesn't have any old cards. No, he's got he's got he's got no, 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 aside from strides, his main deck. I think it's all Oh you mean the main deck? New. Yeah. And this is just like <laughs> a standard deck and you slap it uh, he's got, on top. I mean he's on the I think it's the premium collection one, right? <laughs> yeah. But he one. doesn't have any Yeah, even this the um Crits? I thought you would run the strike crit, but... Yeah. The, the, yeah. the, the, the triggers need to be different, right? But they're the same, so... Hmm. Gotta hmm. watch out. Maybe he just doesn't stride this, and just goes into <laughs> like... Oh, he doesn't have two as uh, well. Yeah, I don't know. Does he even stride? Does he even stride? <laughs> it's got the, um... Megiddo, though. The expensive yeah, Megiddo. Megiddo, Megiddo. It's Megiddo. got Ballerina, and that's kind of all you need, right? Just Maybe. G-God. Uh, make a lot of stuff. Mm. Yeah, okay. All right, cool, cool. Uh, next we've got the Try Hard Perth. Whoa. All right, the Derek Dow. Uh, look, look at all these meta decks, man. So meta Show me the Beatrice. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. Uh, oh, I don't think he played Beatrice this week. Oh. Yeah, but this one is kind of weird. He's, mm. he's running Shurnui, but he doesn't have Jam to be Mizukaze. Jamio. Jamio is a decent card. I don't know. I I, I I do like the music cards here. I don't yeah. I don't like this bit of the deck, mm. but I like this bit of the deck because that's the card I was talking about. Uh, the call card. Um, the rest of well, I don't think he's. Has the PRs not come out in English yet? I don't know about the great two. Like the PR for Genesis and Nubatama should be out unless English hasn't received the stock yet. But this guy oh, managed last week, right? And yeah, this guy so, managed yeah. to come first. So, so I don't know. Can't say anything to him. He did good. He did good. You're good. Um, we actually go all the way to fifth place this week. Fifth place, wow. Because everyone went three one. Um, what? Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good guys. Uh, ooh. ooh, we need, we need a. Uh, save us. We need DS face here. DS, save so, us. He he censored the wrong part of this card, like, dude. What? It's not the face. It needs to go lower. <laughs> you can show the face fine. Uh, so yeah, Pacifica. Uh, and it doesn't help that you put like eighteen plus on the. Anyways. Uh, yeah. No, no, it's better you put eighteen plus. What, is he gonna put 18 minus? You get arrested, dude. Just turn your like phone upside down. Maybe his maybe his cover is very lewd. The, the whole point of it. having a sensor is so you don't anyway. Well, he didn't even do it correctly. Uh, it needs to be lower, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, but his guy's full of speed as well. He's a Pacifica fanboy, dude. Was is this the guy that demolished Derek? Because I heard like I heard Derek played a Pacifica guy and he like drew like all his pieces very early and just, just demolished him. Lol. So I think, well, Pacifica, like. But that's what Pacifica is designed to do. Yeah, yeah. And it totally got some buffs, you know, Red Oak helps you yep. mill and stuff like that. So yeah. Take out the heels. Take out the heels. More crits? Yeah, more, more crits, crits. More crits. 
Okay, right, right. Let's go. Next we have Royal Paladins. Uh, uh, Digimon guy, I guess. At least he chose the correct series. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Did you watch Digimon? Yeah, I did. Which one did you watch? One, two, three, four. Four? That's all right. What about any more? I think a bit of five, but not fully. Okay. It doesn't feel Digimon enough. It's pretty much the same as, as, as me. Which one was the best? <laughs> oh. oh. I'm not gonna say. Wow. It's, it's, there's only one correct answer, dude. What? One? Oh, three, dude. Are you, are you crazy? Uh, I mean, th there is a wrong one if you said four. No, 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 definitely four. Definitely <laughs> four <dude. laughs> if you said four, man, you're, you're out of here. <laughs> uh, um, Royal Paladin list. Um, pretty yeah. pretty simple. Just a pretty standard one, mm. I think. Um, you decide to run the, the Barons. Which is fine. Oh, which is fine, yeah, it's which is fine. And spam great ones and drop your field and bash. Drop your field and bash. Pretty good, pretty easy. Um, his triggers? Oh no, his, his heal triggers. Ah, nah, dude. No, no, no. Close, but not quite. Not good enough, man. Uh, I don't know why this guy is in Perth. But, well, uh, I recognize that name. Uh, it's Justin Mao went to, all the way to Perth to play Shop Qualifier. Was it a Shop Qualifier? I think it was just a Shop Tournament, right? Just play local. <laughs> invade local. <laughs> invade local. He's like, I mean, he did go to like. New Zealand and met us there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he, maybe he's like, oh, Melbourne's finally free. I've got to, got to play local somewhere else now. Uh, so he went to, he went to Perth. Uh, so yeah, it's it's just gold pounds. Um, actually, and no, this build is this actually is pretty, pretty good. close to what you have, I think. Yeah, it's pretty Almost good. Carbon copy. He runs four front, four crit, which is fine. Give this oh, a wow, even the, Yeah, even to the fronts. Yep. Oh man, you, you're my man, dude. Oh, man, when are you coming to Sydney, dude? We're waiting. Next stop, next stop. Oh, no, you can't, because it's on a Tuesday. All right, our local's on a Tuesday. Mm, just make it. Right, just come on a Tuesday. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, it's a pretty cool deck. And then, is there any more? No, okay, so fifth place is the next page. Where's fifth place? I don't know. I missed it. It is Kevin Nur, but he has a mat. He has a mat, dude. Oh, Ooh. he's the... Yeah, finalist, buddy. I think we're gonna oh, do more WCC features. Yeah, I think we'll do one more, right? We'll mm. just do one more. Before before VNs, let's do one more for the heck of it. Let's figure out the date and yeah. see which regions want to run it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, the coolest part of our deck is look at this heal oh, trigger. Do you recognize this? You are not learned of the world as me <laughs> in the world of Vanguard. <laughs> I didn't know that existed in English. Yeah, but yeah, there is a Star Deck Gear Chronicle. And they give you bland purple triggers. The ones that everyone wants. Like what, the, you can't buy them anymore? I think they came when um, they, they body fight died. And then they're like, well, <sighs> start the geek <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I, how much are these? I don't know. Like, these things go pretty expensive, right? That's a, I, I don't know. Just find some store that is still has it sealed. Uh, yeah. In fact. I, hey, this deck, mm. he runs one rebellion. I'm not a fan. I feel like you just don't need it anymore, dude. Yeah, but I think he just likes Rebellion or something. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Like, Reaper does everything, but if you like Rebellion, yeah. I guess. I guess. You should just chat it up and be a Chrono fan guy, like we, the guy we saw last yeah, week. Yeah, six right? crit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, no, I, I think the rest of the deck is pretty standard mm -hmm. apart from this one mm -hmm. um, rebel Rebellion. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And then, lastly, I think there's a lot- No, no, it's not the last deck, This actually. is a big deck. We got Kron from Chicago. Oh wow! I haven't, I haven't heard that name for a while, dude. How's it going, man? It's been a few months. A yeah. few months. Yeah. <laughs> a few months. Oh, man. A few months. Second season. Plus plus. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks to Kron, Luar has more decks than Gabriel. So wow. So, oh. Okay, all right. I'm decided. I don't want to play this week. <laughs> <laughs> he even oh. plays. Oh no, he's got knees, but he's got the the router. Yeah, or the router. I think this is okay. What's uh, the correct way to say it? You're doing you're doing Cisco. What's a, is it a router or a router? It's a router. So it's a router. Uh, oh, but it also could be a root. Mm, sure. Just like root sixty four. Not route sixty four. Yeah, right? but it's an it's a verb to route, oh, yeah. so it's a router. Okay, all right. I'll you, you studied English. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I, <laughs> you didn't. Okay. Did, did you do ESL? Of course I did ESL. Yeah. So your English is better than mine because you had to actually study. It. <laughs> sure. Um, um, I mean, I speak Australian, so it's not really. It's not really uh, well, it's English. Not English. It's not really English. <laughs> Nobody speaks English here. That's uh, uh, no. Yeah. So it's just. I think it's, yeah, you just run this list on Tuesday. Okay. Uh, I can take off for like one of the grade twos, right? Uh, seven grade twos, yeah, seven grade twos. No, you have to run knees. I even packed the knees for you to run, dude. Couldn't find the box. Oh. 
Bro. Oh, I'll find it for you. Yeah, give me the knees. I need the knees. Uh, you want knees? You have knees already? <laughs> I need three knees. You're a bit short, but you still have knees. <laughs> I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> um, but blink, blink the word. Um, good stuff. All right, good stuff. Uh, next, we go on to Melbourne. So the Melbourne oh. boys will just send some stuff through. Oh, Melbourne's finally free. Yeah, Melbourne, free, free Melbourne. I've seen this list. I've seen this list. All right, so it's I need to change the video. Okay, so here we are. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that a is that a 10th anniversary force marker? Oh, in English, man. Send some over, bro. We need some of that. <laughs> uh, save me, save me a stack. Yeah, please. Save, give us the stash, man. You, you know my address. <laughs> hey, Kido, if you're watching, give us some stuff. <laughs> um, um, yeah, no. This is Giri. Yeah, Giri. Yeah. So Giri sent an entire report over. Sorry, Giri, I can't read it because he's got an exam to do and yeah. we're already failing our time attack. Put in the comments. Yeah. We'll, we'll put in the comments. <laughs> uh, this is me. Um, Two so grade three me. This, yeah, we saw this was like a couple of weeks ago, and I think yeah. Giri saw it as well, which is why I ran it. Mm -hmm. um, he did pretty well, apparently. He won? He won, yeah. So he won with me. Uh, so if you guys like, uh, I don't know, if you like the presents, if mm -hmm. you like this this kind of play style, go for it. We'll, we'll put a, we'll put the report. I guess we'll put the report in the, the comments below, right? Mm -hmm. Might as well. All right, Giri's cool. Um, next, we have, I think this is Akimo. He's got, he won with hmm. Night Rose. This one is from... Is it standard? Uh, this is Melbourne, it's still Melbourne. Oh. I think you came second, no, no, you came second or something, right? right. So it's the same, same tournament. Um, um, yeah, this is like very yeah. close to the ideal list, except for the grade one. Sure, why not? What well, grade one? What, what's wrong with the grade one? Um, the previous list didn't play any of the um, grade one ghosty. Oh, it's really? Just, your mill target is... I guess you can mill the GSC out. Okay, the okay. Out. Sure. What is the greatest damage? That's why the other guy plays two copies. Ah, <laughs> all right, that's cool. Uh, KFC. Oh, looks like KFC. you've been eating, bro. <laughs> uh, next we have is... Uh, I don't want... No, this is premium now. So they also had a premium tournament. This um, doesn't feel like a premium deck, but... Oh, no, because the, the, the G-Zone is linked on another picture. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But no, but the majority... Yeah, it's majority. Look, well, no, he's got, he's got one thing. He's got the, the, the Night Mist. Night Mist. The Night Mist. Next storm. A Skull Cannon E. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah. And the... Very, very expensive Grenache. Yes. How much is it now? I don't, I don't know if it's still 20 bucks. Hmm. I don't know if it's still 20 bucks. It might be. It might be. I guess the um, Tempest Spirit is a very cool like mechanic that you can put in. Just yeah, well, no, it, it grabs heals, right? Yeah. Pretty good. And then, you, like, everything's a ghosty, so everything mm -hmm. guards for, like, fat. Yep. It's pretty good. Um, and I guess this is his G zone. So, uh, yeah. Very uh, Grand Blue. <laughs> yeah, very Grand Blue, as expected. Mm. Um, is there anything you'd like to add to this? Uh, let's go back to the previous. Yeah, you don't, you're not running Great One Nulls. You're gonna get memed by people. Oh, you think running Great One Nulls? I think it's mandatory. Okay. <laughs> Actually, you know, yeah, it's it's a ghosty, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. So, <laughs> so minus something plus a Great One Null is, mm -hmm. is, the, is the play. Mm -hmm. All right. And then lastly, this is actually the last deck. We've got Say So um, with a gold paladin spectral list so i i like this list too it's pretty much yeah. justin's list except minus one cavalier mm -hmm. and um like different he puts the oil kite in oh no no justin had a whole kite in too oh what did he um, cut then oh uh, what did he cut dindren maybe i don't, I don't know maybe mm. i don't know we'll have to I'll have to go back and look but yeah no it's uh he's run crits as well no front um so yeah that's pretty much all the lists this week mm -hmm. i think it's pretty good Nice yeah, and diverse, yeah, yeah, yeah. lots of lists. I think a lot and of the um, clan selection decks already start coming up, so yeah, you know, yeah, this is saw, a good format. We saw one Link Joker, good job. And uh, <laughs> oh, thank God. What, what is your deck of the week? Which deck did you like the most? Hmm. Bit hard to pick. Yeah. Uh, Night Rose. Night Rose? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting Only you on one. the spot. I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. Well, whatever. It, it's time to. I like Justin's. I like Justin's Gold Paladin. I think it, was, it looked kind of the best for a Spectral deck. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, you just you just go do your exam, man. Good luck, dude. All right. Won't be that hard. It's just an exam. Right? It's just an exam. All you right. think exam stops after you finish uni? It's you only just begun. No, it just yeah, begun. Remember, guys, uh, if you want to get your deck featured, mm -hmm. put on Twitter hashtag EG Top Decks. Mm -hmm. And then in the comments, just put in like maybe your shop, advertise your shop, what yeah, you did, yeah, how yeah. you did, some comments that you want us to look at. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll read them out. We'll All hunt right. you down. We'll hunt you down, that's right. <laughs> See you in next week's Top Decks. Bye. Bye.